Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Today as you saw in the title, um, I'm doing a gun attack and I'm from West Africa. West Africa, my, to all my West Africans and to all my Africans out there, um, I'm Ghanaian and Ghana, it's in West Africa by the way. Um, I decided to do this gonna tag for the third time can you believe it my official my main youtube can't chat sorry viewers i'm russian my main youtube channel got deleted like can you believe it suspended deleted it's nowhere to be found on youtube and my original youtube channel was called ativelt menson which is my name and this youtube channel is called abby menson so hope you viewers do like hope what you viewers see. do like what you see and you viewers will support me by sharing this gonna tag video okay so let's go straight to the point um some of the questions i'm just going to randomly i don't want video this video to be I like planned it. I want it to be really fun, random questions, thinking about anything that comes into my head. So Ghana Tag, the first question is which part of Ghana do you come from? So I come from the central part of Ghana, which is called Cape Coast. I'll just write it there. And Cape Coast, according to our Ghanaian history, used to be Ghana's capital, but they moved the capital from Cape Coast to Accra. If you don't know about this, do your research. So my Ghanaian sisters and brothers do not come 30, from me. 30, 40 years ago or even more, I can't recall exactly, but it's been a while now. Cape Coast was originally the capital of Ghana during Nkrumah's time. Do your research. I actually did history, so I know what I'm talking about. And they moved from the um, capital from Ghana, from Cape Coast to Accra, so yes. I am from the central part and it's called Cape Coast and my native tongue. The second question is what language do you speak? What sort of dialects? I am a Fanti and people from Cape Coast or some part of western part of Ghana which is like Takradev, west side Cape Coast. A lot of Fantis reside there so I'm a Fanti and I reside Oh, I'm from Cape Coast. I'm a San Fanti. I speak Fanti. The language is called Fanti. So if you like me to speak, okay, let me speak something like, okay. I would, I want to say, what is your name in my native language or my native tongue? So, Wafroden, what is your name? Wafroden. So I will answer, Wafrom Erabena, my Ghanaian name is Arabna, so we're from Arabna. Yes, yeah, so when, when I, was I was in Ghana, Ghana, I used to basically reside in the western part of Ghana, which is like 30 minutes away from my hometown, Cape Coast. Um, western part of Ta um, Ghana, to be precise, Takradi, which is a city in Ghana. Yeah, so I used to reside in Cape Coast, which is a city in Ghana. Also, the next question is, what is your favorite Ghanaian food? My favorite Ghanaian food is red red. Red red is basically fried plantain with beans, the native style. Boiling the beans with red hot oil Put your onions and a bit of chili in your palm oil. Then pour it on the beans. Fry your plantain garri, the native style. That's my favorite, favorite, like my number one go-to food. My favorite food in the whole wild world. I wouldn't even say Ghana food. My favorite food in the whole wild world is red red. Followed by rice dishes. So some like jollof. I prefer jollof with fish stew or chicken stew or meat stew. Then my third favorite is wache. So wache is basically like rice and peas with different types. There is gare. If you're from West Africa, you know what gare is. Our native, um, this is mainly 
northerness the northern food is a northern food but it's so yummy like it's so nice the northerners usually make wachi if you want if you are from ghana and you want to buy the best wachi you know where to go you know to go to the northerners I don't want to say Muslims because in the northern part of Ghana we have Christians there and we have Muslims there so with stew but it's made in their own way it's not the normal rice and stew we make in our homes it's just basically different if you get a correct watch it it's really delicious scrumptious like <laughs> all delicious in it so the next question is who is your favorite Ghanaian musician slash actor or actress so at the moment i'm going to say when i was younger i used to love th for quadges i don't know if you love head of th for quadges but in my generation i'm 30 years of age now so my generation there was TH for quadges when I was growing up, when I was in my teens, like 15 years, and it was really, really cool. Um, I remember Scooby. Scooby went to my school, Chapel Hill. Shout out to Scooby. Oh my days, like those days. It was TH for quadges, Miss Bell. Oh my days, I loved Miss Bell then. And who else? The guy that sang Philomena Putinge, Gege. Philomena Putinge, Gege. And there was this guy, Lord Kenya. I used to love Lord Kenya's songs as well. And now my favorite Ghanaian artist is Sa Kwadier, followed by Castro. May he so rest in peace. But I still love his music. His music still lives on, even though he's no more with us. So Sa Kwadier and Castro and there are a lot of people but i don't really remember their names yeah actress let me go for yvonne okonk i don't want to mention her surname but yvonne actress um yvonne i don't know she's very very old school my number one rama brew mr addison may he so rest in peace mr addison is dead but those og those are the ones that basically paved the way for these new um actors and actresses to be where they are yvonne um nadia buari van vekar I mean a whole lot i have a whole lot of like i love your movies and um, what else do i have to ask um which city is your favorite so some of the questions i found on google i had to pretty go on google to find more questions okay so before the camera cut the question that i asked you viewers was where which part of ghana do i prefer to live in okay the part of ghana i prefer to live in is because i grew up from the western part of ghana i would love to live in takrade i love takrade the second part i would love to live is accra first takrade second accra accra is the capital right now and takrade is also another city in ghana there are different types of cities in Ghana we have Kumasi like there is so many types so I would love to basically live in Takrade number one and probably second choice will be Accra because I've been to Accra so many times um would you get married to a Ghanaian nope Okay, the reason why I would not get married to a Ghanaian is because I do not reside in Ghana at the moment. I've been living in the UK for the past 10 years and if I was to get married to a Ghanaian, I would love to get married to a Fanti because I'm a Fanti. But ever since I moved to the UK, I haven't seen a lot of Fantis. I see more of Ashantis and I don't get along with them. And um, they are very different from Fantis and I don't think I can tolerate them. So I'm sorry. Nope, I wouldn't. If I lived in Ghana, then definitely, yeah. But because I don't, nope. Um, what, what do you miss the most about Ghana? 
what i miss the most about ghana is just the friendship like in ghana unlike the united kingdom london to be precise anyone can just bounce into your house at any time any day anyhow whereby with the uk like you can't just get up and go to people's houses you have to phone them and tell them ask them if they are not working if they are home or if they want to see you to be <laughs> ghana is so fun like it's so fun if you are Ghanaian and you've lived in Ghana, you know how fun Ghana is. So the next question, but I think right now that I'm in my 30s, like most of my friends are married with kids. So it's not going to be as fun as it was when we were growing up, but it's, I prefer it to the UK though. It's still much fun. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Ghana? I just love the culture, the unity. People are really, really united in Ghana. The culture is amazing. Yeah, that's all I can say. What do you dislike most about Ghana? What I dislike most about Ghana is the fact that sometimes people, if a foreigner comes to Ghana, let's say a Caucasian or Igbo white person, your own people see the white person more superior than themselves i don't know and they make them feel really precious so i don't know there's this thing about ghana you don't even have to be white you just have to live in the uk or yep so basically they cherish the foreigner especially when you reside in abroad like from abroad if you reside in the uk or us or anything like that and you visit ghana they they treat you so differently from the people that live there. They treat you like you're superior, you're special, but you're not. You just like them. Okay, so let's move on. Um, do I speak my language? Yes, I do, which is fancy. I already said that at the beginning when I was doing the freestyle without reading the questions. So now I just went on Google. Okay, so what is your full Ghanaian name? I only have one Ghanaian name which is called Irabna which means I was born on a Tuesday but my um, English or my passport name is Ativelt Menson so I would say my full Ghanaian name is Ativelt Irabna Menson okay so when was the last time you visited Ghana? The last time I visited Ghana was like five years ago when my grandma died and I went to her funeral I haven't been since and I'm planning to go this year, 2018, December. Where do you live in Ghana and what tribe are you from? I already answered that question, which is when I was living in Ghana, I used to live in Takrade and I'm from Cape Coast, which is not in Takrade, it's in the central part, but Takrade is in the western part, okay. Do you speak your language? Yes, I do. What around your house represents your culture? Jeez. I guess my kente cloth, <laughs> my native Ghanaian kente cloth that I have here and it represents my Ghanaian culture. What are some of your favorite Ghanaian sayings and this is the rap I'm gonna end it. Um, wanoma, meaning that um, it's a proverb okotong wanoma so um a crab cannot give birth to a bird literally meaning that a crab will give birth to a crab so the way that crab behaves is the same way their child is going to behave a crab's behavior cannot represent a bird's behavior do you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> what else um i have forgotten viewers I've forgotten. It's a wrap. Hope you viewers did enjoy this video. I'll see you viewers in my next